Of Oregon Life. Thanks for right? watching this episode, episode of, of Oregon, Oregon Life. Life. Hello, I'm Frank Caruso, producer of Oregon Life, and welcome to a brand new episode. I got to hang out a few days with the Oregon tradesman, uh, the coach and manager, Eric Fenton, and we got to get behind the scenes and see what it's like. Uh, I have to tell you, if you haven't gotten down to the ice arena, you are missing something spectacular. These young men that hit the ice and play they play with all their hearts and as if they're playing a championship game every game i'll tell you the the speed the agility the tenacity in which they uh, pursue this game and winning winning for the team winning for oregon it is an exciting time there's not a, a second that passes that's not exciting watching these guys play uh, so enjoy this episode of oregon life oregon tradesmen the first one is the attitude and the body language, okay? Attitude and body language is everything, all right? Body language is a billboard for your mental toughness. It, it is, okay? If you're out there pouting, slamming your stick, hanging your head, okay, that's a sign of weakness, all right? If I'm on the other team, I see that, I've got you beat. Now I'm coming after you. Now I'm going to stick you. Now I'm going to get you to try to retaliate, okay? That's what's happened in the Granite City game and a little bit in the Wausau, okay? We come out. We're all over everyone, okay? We're all over Wausau, get up a two-goal lead, then all of a sudden, we let down, we start taking penalties, okay? Body language, attitude is, is not good, okay? Can't have it anymore, okay? Hi everybody, my name is Eric Fenton. I'm the head coach and general manager of the Oregon Tradesmen. Um, it's a junior hockey team here in Oregon, Wisconsin, uh, having a very successful season. Um, I started my hockey career back in uh, Maine. Uh, when I was four years old, I started skating, uh, played high school, played at the University of Maine, ended up playing uh, professionally with the Milwaukee Admirals. Um, after that, um, I decided to get into coaching when my professional career was over, and lo and behold, I ended up here in Oregon, Wisconsin, and uh, can't complain about anything here. It's a beautiful place. One of my jobs is, as a head coach and general manager is to bring in the best players at the Tier 3 level. Um, the goal is to win a championship. That's what we want to do, but the focus is more developing players, moving them up to the next level, whether it be in the Tier 2, Tier 1 level, um, also college hockey. We want to move these kids on to college hockey. That's my main focus. With the goal being winning, the focus being developing. My job as a coach is to find out what that reason is and we work on those areas with these players in order to get them to go to the next level, whether it's tier two, tier one, or college hockey. So a lot of people ask me about my coaching style. Um, I had a lot of great coaches when I played. I learned what to do and what not to do. Um, so basically my style is let the players lead because it's basically it's their team. So when the players lead, I teach, I guide, I help them lead. That's kind of my coaching style. Um, I do have some mentors out there for coaches. Uh, Red Jenrin was a big one for me. He did pass away a couple years ago. Uh, Jim Montgomery is another guy I'd like to reach out to, coach of the Boston Bruins. Um, there's, there's so many others that uh, I'm really fortunate, and I do lean on them to be a better coach because um, I know I have things I can work on, and uh, I'm never satisfied as a coach to get better. So one of the four keys to success we like to teach our players so it helps them as a hockey player and it helps them in life is number one, you gotta work hard. 
right? Number two, you got to be a great teammate. You got to work as a team. Number three, you got to be smart. And number four, you have to have a great attitude. We teach that you have to do all four of those things. You can't do two, you can't just do one. You do all four things, good things will happen in hockey and in life. So Frank asked me about the blades and the skates and how guys get so good at skating because uh, he struggled mightily from what he told me. Uh, one of the things you have to do is you have to learn how to use your edges, edges of the skates. Um, skiers, they know all about this. You have to use edges with skiing. Uh, some of the things coaches, they coach kids, just to just put them on the ice, they tell them to skate. But one of the things is you have to learn how to use your edges first. Uh, if you don't do that, you'll never be a good skater. All right, fellas. All right. Okay, fellas, the big thing, don't take them lightly, all right? They've won four of the last five games, okay? I don't care where they are in the standings. Do not take them lightly. Number 55, let him sleep, okay? You get a ski mask on out there on the warm-ups. Just let him sleep. He wants to get you off your game. He wants to get you all riled up, okay? He wants you retaliating, okay? We're not going to do that because we're going to be disciplined, right? Larks? Rosie? Yeah. Niter? Stuff, discipline, discipline, okay, smart, smarter than them. This, this, this weekend means quite a bit, okay. The top prospects is in a month, okay. They take five guys on the team that's in first place or has the best winning percentage, okay. If we take care of business this weekend, we're going to be in first place, all right. We're going to be able to take five guys to top prospects, okay. You're in second, you take four. Okay, so it's a big weekend to clamp down on that and be the team taking five, okay? And I also have to coach the team, so. Yeah! yeah. So, a lot riding on this weekend, okay? Let's put the pedal to the metal, okay? What I'd love to see for the future of the tradesmen is for the community to rally around this team. It's a, it's a very good hockey team, very skilled hockey team. It's high high-paced, um, fast action. Um, if we can get the whole community rallying around us and fill this arena for every game, uh, bring home a championship, just think of what that would do for Oregon. Thanks for watching Oregon Life. Oregon Life. Thanks for right? watching this episode, episode of, of Oregon. Oregon.